my name is Carly Noon and I'm an astrophysicist. This is how you get my job. Come on. Typical day for me is coming to my office. Sometimes I have meetings with my supervisors. I can usually go to them with like a plot or like a pretty picture of my, my research. They give me feedback on it. I go back to my office. I do quite a lot of maths, a fair bit of coding. And then hopefully I make my, my pretty picture on my plot even prettier. <laughs> yeah. I love my job because I feel like a detective hunting out all the universe's secrets. Some of the favourite things about my job are working with lots of different people. So I get to work with uh, lots of kids and lots of um, just people who aren't scientists and I get to talk with them about my passion, which I really like doing. I use this really big telescope called the Parkes Radio Telescope and it gives me these beautiful images of our galaxy. And another reason why I love my job is because it's challenging and I get bored really easy but when I'm trying to figure out how our galaxy is working, I don't really get bored. I'm actually a radio astronomer, so this is a lot different to uh, an optical astronomer. What I do is I look at the gas on the other side of the telescope and then I do some programming uh, and then I get my image, so it's a little bit different. A celestial object is anything that's in the sky that's outside of our atmosphere. My favourite celestial object is something called a planetary nebula. These objects are found in regions where stars form and they're super pretty and really colourful. I would definitely recommend looking them up. So the questions I get asked most about my job is if I will go into space. Of course I would, I love space, but that's not really my job. Another thing is people think that I'm really smart because I do astronomy, but I'm not really that smart. I just work really hard. I have not always been good at maths. Um, my love for maths started really young in primary school, but that doesn't necessarily mean I was good at it. So I really like algebra. I, I love doing algebra. Uh, questions like Sally goes to the shop and buys Bread, how much money does she have left? I'm really bad at those questions. I just, I, I don't know why, I just am. But algebra, I'm good at. I didn't always know that I was going to get into astronomy. When I was younger, maybe about 15, I wanted to be a wrestler when I grew up and worked really hard to try and become a wrestler. Um, but then eventually that passion kind of faded and turned into astronomy. My biggest influence in getting into astronomy was actually Stephen Hawking and reading all his books and just being amazed by the universe. So my advice for anybody who wants to get into astronomy is to really believe in your ability. Anybody can do it. Um, and also to seek help when you need it. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Uh, if you can't do something, you can always learn. And that's what asking help is about, learning. So my favourite planet is Jupiter. So it's this one right here. Jupiter is my favourite planet because it's really big, it's really pretty, and it's a little bit mysterious. So how it came to be, um, we don't really know, and it has this weird liquid metallic core. Uh, so I find it interesting. My three top tips to becoming an astrophysicist are to embrace maths. You might find that you start to enjoy it if you embrace it a little bit more. Do coding, exact same thing with coding. Start small with something like Scratch and then you can build up to something like Python, which is what I use. And lastly, explore the area. So I study galaxies, but you may study uh, the explosion of stars or the expansion of the universe. Goodbye everyone, thanks for spending the afternoon with me. I'll see you around the galaxy.